dual sport versus a dirt bike? A KLX 250 versus a TE 250? Come on, what's wrong with you, Ride With Will? I mean, how can you compare these two? So I get it, you guys think I'm crazy. But hear me out, I really think a dual sport can really have a fair fight against, uh, let's say, a TE250i or the 300 two-strokes. You know, this is more for like a chilled ride. This is, dude, in all honesty, it's not even, it's not even that a bad bike. Dude, let's just say this, the KLX 250 versus uh, the two-strokes and all that stuff. Thing is, never, never seen this thing, huh? Interesting. Probably used to be like an old, I don't know, house or something. So, you know, while, I, while I'm riding on these trails, I kind of wanted to talk about the KLX 250. Me me owning the uh, the Husqvarna, what's the other bike? Uh, the Beta. Dude, in all honesty, this bike, I think I prefer this bike on double track. It's just so much more comfortable. This is freaking awesome. This, uh, the ass is growing and everything. So, example I wanted to bring up. I ended up exploring part of Colorado known to the locals as the Desert Bowl of the Mountains. A lot of people do not know this trail system, and I would like to keep it that way. But anyways, I would never dream of bringing my two-stroke over here. I was averaging speeds up to 50 and even 60 miles an hour. To do a review dual sport versus a dirt bike <laughs> i'm thinking what the hell what's wrong with you what do you mean dual sport versus dirt bike so you know i got my husqvarna right and my klx 250 you know it's not the only two stroke i have ridden in all honesty a klx 250 can do this and if i'm by myself puttering around like this i just want to chill there's some days I feel like puttering around. I don't even want to go fast. I just want to go out and explore. It's a very capable bike. See, this stuff, you just you know, putter around, sit around, and just, just chill, you know? So here's another point to the dual sport world. It's much more comfortable to sit and putter around all day and just really take it easy. When, you know, you really want to go sightseeing and just enjoy the scenery. There are times I just want to have a relaxed ride and not really push my limits. Don't get me wrong, I love technical hard trails, but I also love exploring and just riding out to the middle of nowhere. So there are times where I know I am exploring and doing double track and to be honest, taking the KLX 250, I never have to worry about hours, just miles. The KLX 250 or just any dual sport really eases my mind when it comes to maintenance. Just change the oil, I don't know, every three months, if that. I mean, for overall use, I hate to say it, but the dual sport world just beats performance dirt bikes in every way. And I hate to admit that, but it does. I honestly cannot even feel the weight difference until I start doing really rocky trails, try to go faster, or in really tight trails. I only really enjoy bringing my Husqvarna to tough single track or when I'm out with other fast riders. But then I'm looking at hours like dang it's almost 30 hours time for another oil change. Oh another ride better change that air filter. But even then I'm sure KLX 250 and all other dual sports can do all other trails just fine. I mean, don't get me wrong, these are not for racers who are looking to do indoor races or hair scrambles. Of course a KLX or any dual sport will be horrible here. So coming from an average rider, I can say this, the only time a legit dirt bike will benefit you versus a dual sport is when it is a tight single track, tight rocky stuff, dropping and balancing the bike off weird sections where you know you need to lean over the bike some way just to keep that balance, and your typical tricks like pivot turns and double blips on a log, leaning the bike over and drifting around, oh yeah, and when you really manually 
need to push up the bike up up something i don't know say you get stuck or something and you need to crawl it back up and if you're an average rider who just like to putt around and usually ride at a conservative speed i believe a dual sport is more than enough so here's a perfect example of a clip i wanted to share this day i was just exploring you know relaxing and honestly this situation was not ideal for a te250i Holy, I believe it because of the wind. It's just alone, it's really windy. Yeah, I hear this. Oh man. This is freaking awesome. This, uh, the ass is growing and everything. I love this. So far, like on this stuff, I don't know what that is. It's off 347. Looks like it used to be an open trail.